Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Nurse Kat. Kamusta po kayong lahat? I'm glad that I was able to uh, upload the vlog tonight. And um, salam salamat po sa mga patuloy po nagsusubscribe. And I know that uh, I'm giving value on my uploads. Kaya salamat po sa mga nagko-comment at um, I receive some compliment po sa mga nanonood ng vlog na ito. Without for, uh, further ado, uh, let's start it. So, um, sa previous vlog ko regarding purchasing a car, gusto ko ding idagdag sa inyo, no? Na in purchasing a car, hindi ko na-mention doon na you also have to consider um, paying property tax and uh, registration yearly. So, recently, naka-receive ako ng... Um, Combined Vehicle reg Registration, Renewal, and Property Tax Notice. Ito yung, ito yung uh, papers na babayaran ko. It's gonna cost me uh, $286.51 for the Combined Vehicle Registration, Renewal, and Property Tax Notice. So, the, the higher value your car is, mas mahal po yung ano nyo, yung property tax nyo. Same as true sa pagbili nyo ng bahay, may mga property tax po dito. My friend ako na from Texas, she was so upset when she moved here because she has to pay a property tax for her um, for her uh, car. So, sa Texas kasi, wala silang taxes. So, dito sa NC, even, even your car and your house has property tax and you have to pay it yearly. Anyway, that's, uh, that's out of my uh, topic tonight. So, ang topic po natin tonight is day shift versus night shift. So, uh, when you sign your contract and everything, um, siguro pag before pa man kayo nag-send ng contract, they're gonna, they're gonna tell you if you're gonna go for day shift or night shift. Or sometimes hindi siya naka-state sa contract nyo pero pagdating nyo dito uh, you will have a chance to uh, choose between day shift or night shift so normally here in North Carolina most of the hospitals here are having difficulty on the staffing we have staffing issues with their, whether it's a hospital, SNF or long term facility they are really in need of nurses uh, so having said that the schedule of nurses here normally runs every 12 hours ang shifting um i don't know if there are some hospital who are doing eight uh three shifts yung eight hour shifts but uh since i i arrived here uh, most of the hospital i encountered lagi silang naka 12 hour shift so it's gonna be 7 a.m to 7 p.m or 7 p.m to 7 a.m and vice versa so in choosing um, a good shift, I'd like to share with you that uh, there is a big difference between day shift and night shift. There's a pros and cons on it, and I think it's uh, important for you to know. Um, although I, I know that you are already working uh, in the Philippines or sa ang panig pa man ng mundo kayo nagtatrabaho, magkakaiba po ang procedure na nandito. Um, if you, you choose for day shift, of course, there are more activities done in day shift compared sa night shift. At night shift, generally, alam natin na meron tayong tinatawag na night shift differentials. Pero sa vlog na to, isa-isahin natin, um, we have to stream down the things that you have to consider if you would like to go for a day shift or a night shift schedule. Um, so for day shift, so for shifting, it's 12-hour shift. Normally, a full-time nurse will have to have a three shift, three 12 hour shift in a week. So if your facility is mandatorily giving you seven shift in two weeks or per cut off, then you may need also to consider that. Um, my, but mostly full time here, uh, full time hospitals here is only three shift in a week, no? And uh, if you go over three shifts in a week, then that's already an overtime. 
Um, day shift activity. What are the day shift activity? Normally, you you will receive report from from the night shift nurse. After you receive report from night shift nurse, you will have to prepare for your uh, med pass for giving medications to your patients, and then um, all the critical laboratory orders usually usually comes up uh, first hour of day shift. So. Um, blood draw, they normally order that at 5 a.m. around 6, 7, lumalabas na yung results. Once you get the results, sometimes um, there are some electrolyte imbalances of the patient, hemoglobin slow. Um, day shift has to uh, anticipate uh, possible orders ng mga doctors to, to do some electrolyte replacement and um, blood transfusion. Also, procedures like CT scans, MRI, thoracentesis, um, heart cat placement, um, echoes, and everything. Uh, they normally do that in the morning. Also, uh, as a nurse, you also have to collaborate with the physical therapies, wound care, case manager on regarding the placement of the patient. And um, there are a lot of things going on in the day shift. And the... Uh, Sometimes, um, may mga hospitals din na pinatawag silang rounds. Um, for the rounds, normally, um, they pick an hour in, in a day um, that the doctors, case managers, uh, and nurses will have to talk, have a table talk on what's gonna be the plan of uh, care for this patient. So, it's important for the shift nurse to know if the patient is ambulatory, can walk, what's their baseline. In order for them to be an advocate to to the patient on what's gonna be the plan is and how's how's the patient um going yon so you know na gusto ko dito no when uh, um I started my preceptorship here I appreciate the fact that doctors uh, case managers and nurses have have to talk had had a one hour talk to to know what are the plans for the patient, which is normally hindi ginagawa ng uh, sa previous hospitals na napuntahan ko. Only the doctors themselves would just talk to each other about the plan. Hindi nila mostly sinasama ang mga nurses. Pero dito, sinasama nilang nurses sa mga decision making. And you as a nurse has, um, has a voice or has uh, has uh, responsibility also perhaps to share with them what are the things that has to be done to the patient. Say, say for instance, yung pasyente mo ay may sacral wound pala, um, you can uh, inform the doctor that we have to order for wound care or um, some other institutions you can also, it's already a, a nursing protocol to uh, request for wound care, diet, uh, nutrition, nutrition consult for the patient if they're not eating. So, Ganon, ganon siya ka, ano, ka efficient. And, um, apart from that, some hospitals also are requiring the nurses to call the family to give them an update. And that usually happens in the morning, um, the, the day shift. So, the, the nurses has to call, um, the, the patient's family member about the course or plan of care, which is responsibility pa rin ng mga nurses. And um, not to mention for med pass for giving medicines, uh, the there's uh, medication time usually happens three times in day shift, uh, morning, afternoon after their lunch and after their dinner. Remember, 7 p.m. pa po yung ano yung endorsement. So normally, um, most of the bulk or 80 80 percent of the medicines of the patient has been taken um, has to be given by the day shift nurse. So the pros, naman. What what are the pros um, on uh, having day shift? Of course, uh, your sleep pattern is much more better and efficient than uh, the night shift nurse. And also, mas marami kayong support. If the if you see that your patient is deteriorating, um, you can always ask support to anyone. Because uh, almost all the healthcare team, even the attending physician, is present in the day shift nurse. And you can always uh, call them or send send a um, secure chat to them anytime um, for any concerns that you need for, for your patient. And uh, mostly um, CNAs um, are doing the 
part of bedside uh, bedside care for the patient in the day shift, especially um, na mentioned ko nga na napakadaming ginagawa ang day shift nurse. And uh, I don't know if it's a pro for you or a con for you to have um, management, of course, all, all the supervisors and all those staff, eh, andun sila na umaligid sa'yo. There are some managers sometimes that um, usually like to micromanage their nurses, which I don't like. Um, I'm not telling na lahat e eh, ganun. Pero, alam mo yun, um, busy-busy ka na nga, tapos they, they want, they micromanage what you do. So, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, ano sa akin, a downside sa akin. So, I chose night shift. Why I chose night shift? Kasi, minimal lang ang med pass. However, even if minimal yung med pass, usually, um, night shift nurses should be, uh, one of those, ano, experienced nurses dapat ang mga usually na nasa night shift nurse. Why? Because we only have limited support at night. Normally, we only have one on-call doctor that we have to refer into. And uh, before we even bother the doctors, we have to uh, make sure that all the PR and medications has been given to the patient. And everything uh, na basic na pwede mong gawin on the ground, nagawa mo na as intervention sa pasyente. Um, night shift, minimal ang med pass, kaya lang, mostly, dyan nangyayari yung mga IV insertions. Day shift nurse, sometimes, kapag uh, nag, magbibigay na kami ng IV meds, uh, normally, yung mga IV eh, out na, ganun. So, we have to uh, put them on. And, um, sa mga family naman na hindi nakapick up ng phone call, ng mga day shift nurse, normally we are the ones who have to uh, run through all of them. Uh, run through the with the plans. Which is, syempre, night shift ka. Hindi po pa naman nababasa yung profile ng pasyente. So, it's it's kind of difficult to do that. Um, no management. Minimal management pa rin naman. May supervisor pa rin naman. Pero, minimal lang yung management. So, um, it's it's um uh, uh, a good ano a good environment to work into pag night shift um so normally ang ginagawa ng night shift after we give uh, our med pass we also have to review the plan of care of the patient and then the con uh, the pros is we have a night shift differential different so depending on sa sa facility nyo and uh for patients who are medically unstable, pag hindi nila na-manage ng morning, sometimes mahirap kapag ikaw ay night shift. Kasi minimal lang yung doctors. Minsan yung doctor hindi lang, yung on-call na doctor, hindi lang isang unit yung hawak niya. Sometimes all the medical uh, surgical units plus um, plus ED. So uh, sometimes uh, you feel that the patient is already deteriorating but it's gonna take them time to see the patient personally, to assess the patient personally. Kasi nga, they're also swamped with, uh, the doctors are also swamped with uh, other other things to do. So, uh, ang bad side lang for night shift, of course, yung sleep pattern. Yun ang pro sa day shift. So, yun din uh, con sa night shift. Ang con sa night shift is, we normally are dis- sleep deprived. And, for sleeping pattern, uh, mahirap kasi you have to sleep in the morning. So, I, me, I, I work night shift. I have a blackout curtain. And um, I'm already working night shift for more than a year now na dare-diretsyo. Unlike sa ibang hospitals na pinagtrabahuan ko doon na pwede mag day shift kayo ngayon tapos mag night shift kayo ulit. Yun, may, ano, may variation Pero dito, normally, if you sign for night shift, dire-diretso ka ng night shift unless you requested to go for day shift. Um, however, kung kugo ka na ng day shift, mawawala ka na ng night differential. Um, another, another cons na nakita ko, apart from it's bad for the health, you're also sleep-deprived, um, 
your off sometimes is not sufficient to recover your body. Say for instance, I have uh, three shift and I only have two shift off. Then shift na naman. Kung two shift ang off ko, uh, ka third shift ko, umaga na, first off ko, matutulog lang ako nun. Pagising ko, gabi na naman, isa na lang ang off na natira sa'yo. So, alam mo yun. Um, it's difficult. And, uh, limited time to run for errands. Of course, um, errands, normally, all the things that you need to do, like, uh, processing your personal things. Uh, normally, from Monday to Friday lang yan, di ba? Open ang mga offices. Um, limited yung time mo kapag ka night shift ka. Either, ayoko naman kasi mag-drive or mag-run ng errands after, after your shift. So, uh, yun lang nakita ko. And, uh, very important is, you can, there are, we cannot sustain continuous night shift because it's really bad for the health. Um, just wanna share with you, after more than one year, I, my triglycerides, cholesterol is so high, um, I didn't, of course, our body would compensate uh, deprived of sleeping sa kain na kain. So, ayun. Uh, Nag-decide ako na mag mag enroll for a coaching. Health coaching on how how, how, how am I going to um, to manage my health. So, yun ang mga difference ng day shift at night shift. At alam ko po na uh, you already have something in mind um, sa mga pam mga, mga ano natin dyan na may pamilya, of course. Um, lalo na pag nurse din yung asawa nyo, pwede kayong mag-usap kung sino magde-day shift or magna-night shift nurse. So, it's gonna be um, on you. So, I hope um, I was able to share with you my experience here uh, the difference between day shift and night shift. Um, it's it's gonna be difficult but you'll get used to it in the long run pag hindi kayo night shift person then you might go for day shift pero wala pong tatagal na dere direct yung night shift um, mostly sa atin so yun lang po and thank you for watching guys and have a good day God bless sa mga darating po dito sa US um, all the best po sa inyo sa inyong mga visa interview and hopefully maging maayos po yung transition nyo dito have a good day God bless